Welcome back to Moments of Reflection. I am your host, Dr. Derek A. Reeves, and I guess you may be wondering why I have this vest on sometimes in my office with the air conditioner. It can get quite chilly, so I have to dress accordingly. And again, I welcome you. I'm coming from my office, and I'm here to share with you my reflections. Today I want to talk about adjective theology. Adjective theology in my studies is the theology that generally will have an adjective or an adjective that is connected to a specific point of view. Feminist theology, black liberation theology, Princeton theology. All of these then are what I call adjective theologies. And in being an adjective theology, they're simply reflecting the point of view or the perspective of those individuals of whose theology it is. In many cases, I think we have to be very careful because theology is the study of God or man's pursuit in studying God based upon the text, based upon our scientia, or the knowledge of physics, of, or of the world, or of material reality, or whatever it is that we are founding our pursuits to know God from. So many of our worldviews then come from our examination and analysis of what we deem reality to be. The problem with adjective theology is that it comes from a human perspective and a human inquiry to deal with only one aspect or one point of view. And so the feminist theology then will develop a feminine point of view based upon the perception of those problematic situations that females embrace. When we talk about black liberation theology, it will come from the standpoint of the theologies, of the perspectives of those who are of the darker races or of the black race. And so theology, in my mind, and according to scripture, if it is going to be the study of God or the pursuit of understanding the logia of God, it is then trying to come to a rational understanding of who God is outside of all of the human woes, outside of all of the human constructs that bring trouble to the world. And so true theology then is seeking to understand God as who he is, what his nature is, what his plans and purposes are, and how he seeks to deal with mankind. If we are not careful, we will put our spin on theological matters, doctrine, and we will deal with it from our perspective, which is always limited. Anytime adjective theology uh, takes the forefront of theological studies, it's already biased because now it's coming from my endeavors to reveal and understand theology based upon where I am, instead of understanding theology based upon who God is. I do admit that all people are seeking for God in their own way and utilizing their ramification. And so in many cases, we use the scripture to determine truths based upon our position. If we're not careful, we will seek to determine how people should worship God through their music, how people should worship God through their excitement or enthusiasm. I don't believe that God limits the truth of worship to one society or one modality. Worship then is a reflection of the heart. Worship then is a reflection of the individuality of the individual, how they are drawn to God. Some may worship him in more ecstatic modes and means. Some are more subdued. 
And if we're not careful, we will allow our culture to try to dictate how others should relate to God, worship Him, and serve Him. In many cases, this is what the colonists did, trying to force their views upon what they considered to be indigenous species who were in need of transformation. Christianity is the only religion that can be brought into a custom and that custom never has to lose its identity unless that custom is doing something that is drastically opposed to the will and the standard and the law and the mandate of God. And so when we deal with adjective theology, adjective theology is the pursuit of man that seeks to understand God from a human perspective rather than to understand God from the scriptural perspective. And what I mean by the human perspective, from our perspective of who we are and how things should be based upon who we are rather than how things should be based upon the Word of God alone. Even when individuals use the terminology sola scriptura, I find that that's not always the case. Sola scriptura then is looking at the text, analyzing the text, using the text as the foundation, of course using it in its right um, prescription according to the tenses, according to what's happening, and according to the understanding of the text. So you can't displace the meaning and you can't displace the interpretation. The text itself has a theme. The text itself has a reality of purpose. And so when we break down the text, it has to be conf in conformity to what the text is saying and what individuals literally understood it to say during the time it was written. And so adjective theology then is theology that describes a personality and their perspective of God rather than the scriptural perspective of God. And we have to understand that our theologies are at best our own. And we also have to understand that when we get to the place where what we say is law and finality and we can learn nothing else beyond the script that we have laid down, we are treading in dangerous territory. Because again, theology is not God's study of himself, but theology is the study of man in his pursuit of understanding God. I thank you for joining me, and as always, I want you to be blessed. I'm Dr. Derek A. Reeves coming from my office, and this has been Moments of Reflection. Have a great day.